Welcome to the session. So today we are going to go about uh, the AML workload scale and performance uh, metrics for measurements and the tools we can use for uh, those measurements. So let's go through the uh, different categories of the key performances and the scale metrics for AI application or workload. Uh, there are three categories. One is the accuracy and uh, uh, model performance. The second one is a training and inference efficiency. And the third one is the scalability and manageability. So let's go through each of them in detail in next few slides of the application. And um, so the, let's look at the first accuracy and model performance. Accuracy, this is a core metrics of any AI application. It measures how well the model performs its intended task, often expressed as a percentage of a correct prediction or classifications. Um, Precision and recall. This metric derives deeper into classification accuracy, focusing on how well the model avoids uh, false positive um, and the false negative recall. It's called precision and recall, uh, respectively. F1 score. This combines the precision and recall into a single matrix, uh, providing balanced view of the classification performance. Loss function. This metric measures the difference between the model predictions and the actual outcomes sir. lower loss um, indicate a better model fit and uh, training progress accurate um, area under the receiver operating characteristic curve this metric assesses a model ability to distinguish between positive and negative classes particularly useful for imbalanced data set so let's go to the next one. This is the training and inference efficiency. So the training time, this measure the time taken for the model to train on a given data set. Uh, faster training time are desirable, um, especially for iterative development cycle. Inference time, this metric is referred to the time it taken for the model to make take a new prediction on a new data point. Lower inference times are crucial for the real time application. Uh, especially the prompt, uh, uh, the user, end user uh, interface. Uh, resource utilization. This includes metrics like CPU memory and GPU utilization during the training and inference. Efficient resource usage help optimize cost and um, allow for better scaling as well as for better use. Yeah, so let's uh, go through the scalability and manageability uh, metrics. Throughput. This measure the number of uh, prediction or classification the model can make per unit time. High throughput is essential for handling large data set and real-time workload. S scalability, uh, an AI application should be um, able to scale its uh, prediction performance as well as uh, capacity to handle increasing uh, data volumes or workloads. Uh, this can involve scaling computer resources or using distributed uh, training techniques. Model explainability. Being um, able to un understand how model arrive at the prediction is crucial for uh, debugging. Also, it is identifying the uh, any bias uh, result um, and uh, building the trust in the end result. So these are some of the key metrics for the manageability and scalability. Manageability point summary: Choosing the most relevant metrics depends on the specific AI application and its goal. For example, an image recognition model might prioritize accuracy and speed, while a recommended system might focus on relevancy and user engagement metrics. By monitoring these key performance and scale metrics, you can effectively evaluate your AI application effectiveness and optimize your uh, development and deploying process. Hope this helped to understand the key performance scale and uh, metrics for AI application and its workload. Thank you.